The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host, my name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me I have two very special comedians. First, he is the most uh, gayest but most loving homosexual comedian that we all know and love, Mr. JP! As opposed to the <laughs> gay and non-loving homosexuals that he's used to. Well, you know, some gay guys can be a bunch of assholes oh, just man. beating the shit out of guys, you know? Oh, God, I some wish. Some people are just dicks. <laughs> <laughs> that's it doesn't right. matter anything else about them. That's true. That's right. Uh, that, that's what's wrong with America today is that there's so many groups that you can't just be like, quit being a <laughs> dick. Just quit being a dick. <laughs> and also another funny stand-up comedian. He just had his uh, very first special, which we're uh, on pins and needles to hear whenever that's going to come out. But he is the very funny Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hi. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for watching The the Thing. The Thing? Yeah, our thing that we're doing right now. Oh, okay. Cool. That's that's fair. Yeah, my special's not out yet. It's going to be, though. We're, <laughs> we're still working on... Uh, it's fully edited, but it's like uh, we got to do... Uh, r- uh, music. What's it called? Like it's called like you're not the like, album version. Yeah, the video yeah, version the video. is done. They are chopping the album into tracks, and <clears throat> I got to make titles for them. And then we're working on the album cover and stuff. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So probably September sometime. Wow. Okay. I was gonna say next year. So yeah. September is really fast. Well, I'm just guessing, but yeah. I I mean I hope. And yeah. the, and before I should probably I I'm gonna just say it. I'm doing shows in Wichita this weekend. There at, you go. At um, Vorshay's. There you go. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to try to go to that. Come see me. Yeah. Uh, we have an excellent show for everybody again today. we got some current events. we got some overrated, underrated. And we've got another uh, fun week of uh, That's Where I Draw the Line. I liked it last I know week, you man. Did. It was good. I know you did. It was good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you don't. It's a new segment, man. You're going to love it. It's oh, a, yeah, yeah. I like new things. It's a yeah. new segment that JP actually tolerated. So. I liked it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, as always, questions and preguntas, a draft, and we wrap things up with another shitty situation. But uh, I guess Mike kind of already beat us to the punch, but uh, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last week. But if this is the very first time you've ever listened to this podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to talk about inappropriate or make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine, except for when Derek's not here because he's a douche. Um, but this is also an adult podcast yeah. where we like to use foul language and offend as many groups of people as we possibly can. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Sometimes I'd get my dick out. Uh, no, uh, that's we got to blur that out from mm-hmm. time to time. No, no. I I can honestly okay. say it's never you, you've been nothing but a gentleman. to me. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to butter you up. That's uh, one. That's <laughs> one checkbox that everybody has yeah. to meet in order to still be considered a gentleman to me. Okay. Okay. Has he ever whipped his dick out at me? <laughs> no. No. Nope. Well, well, he's then still he's okay, okay by in my me. book. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, so our week week recap is what happened to us over the last week or couple of weeks. Mike, it's been a while. So, uh, what you been up to, bear buddy? Nothing. I figured. No, just uh, grandma stuff here and there. The lawn's looking good. That's good. Um, what else? I probably watched a thing or two. Can't remember what it is. I'm high. 
Um, <laughs> I did some shows in Nebraska. Yeah. I did a show in uh, Loop City, Nebraska, which I, after talking to Chat GPT for a while, I found out that it has French heritage. Oh. And, uh, but everybody there talks about how they're all Polish. Oh. And, uh, and then the next night, I did a show in Grand Island at a place called the Leader Crons or Leader Crans or something. And I asked Chat GPT about that, and they're all German. And I didn't know that at the time. But when I was in Loop City on stage, I was like, yeah, tomorrow we're doing a Grand Island. And they're all like, boo. And I was like, what? You don't like them there? And they're like, no, they're all dicks there. Nazis. <laughs> so, yeah, I, fa- I mean, I put it all together eventually. Like, the Polish town hates, hates the German the town. German town. Still to this day. Oh, yeah. Damn. Let it go. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Come on. They weren't that bad, right? Uh, they were pretty, they were pretty <laughs> bad. <laughs> they were pretty bad. Yeah, they were. They were really bad. Uh, but anyways, uh, it, you said you watched anything special? That's, I don't remember what I watched, but I know oh. I watched a thing, and I was like, no, that was good. That was good right there. Oh, okay. But I would have to look at my Netflix history, okay. and, and then I'd be like, oh, yeah, it was a 1986 Sylvester Stallone movie. Never mind. That wasn't good. I'm obsessed with the TV show. I'm very curious to see if you've actually watched it before. And it's, it. it's on Netflix now. Okay. And I may or may not have, have mentioned it to you, but have you ever seen Suits? I knew that's right. Oh, no, but they're pushing it right now. Yeah, I, watch, I watched the little trailer of it, and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. He memorized the, the bar book or whatever. Oh, that's because of that whole show is fucking amazing. It's retarded at the same time. Was it on USA? It was on, I want to say either USA or FX. I'm going to guess USA. It seems it like seems a like USA, USA show. Well, yeah. until they get to like season six or seven, and then all of a sudden they start dropping the F-bomb, and you're like, oh, shit. Oh, oh. This ain't USA no this, more. This ain't USA no more. They got picked up by somebody else. Exactly. Netflix, probably. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Netflix is going to make a new Suits, obviously. Otherwise, why would they bring it out? I don't know, but they should because yeah. it's fucking great. I'm going to be on it. Oh, Are you? Yep, I'm going to be a suit. I don't think so, man. I know you don't think so. Seven seasons is a lot. That's a big commitment. That Uh, is a big commitment. Seven seasons is where I'm at. There's nine total. See, that makes me not want to, because if I click on the first one, it's going to stay on Netflix forever until I finish it. Yeah. And I, I, man, that's a lot. 42 minute episodes. Sometimes I just let shit play while I'm sleeping so that it will go away. Right. (laughs) Is that right? Just fuck, I have done that where I just didn't plots. like a show and I'm like, I don't want to fucking watch the rest of it. Fuck I do that to my friend's comedy albums. I'll, <laughs> I'll play it on Apple Music and That's just turn nice the volume you, all the way down and just have it repeat all night as I'm sleeping. That's really That's good. Nice. It That's gives cool. them a listen yeah, so that way they can get their numbers up. I completely understand that. That's good of you. Uh, how about you, JP? You're never going to believe this, man. I did all kinds of shit. I'm like, so, I'm so excited. All, I uh, I went to help build the house for Habitat for Humanity. Oh, I'll be damned. Um, was it Garth Brooks? Was Garth Brooks there? No. Oh, okay, good. Was Garth Brooks supposed to be there? I he's, feel like I got fucked now. <laughs> <laughs> he's pushing it pretty hard. Okay. He's and, trying to hide. Uh, he's trying to yeah. hide all the bodies and yeah. stuff that he's nice. got killed. And then uh, I went to the monster trucks on Saturday. Ooh. Glow in the dark Hot Wheels version. No wow. shit. Was Grave yeah. Digger there? I'm lying. Oh, yeah. I didn't do any of those things. <laughs> I, I knew. I just wanted Scotty to be excited. <laughs> I knew those you are, didn't those build are some houses th- dude, for the homeless. Those are some things that my like friends of mine were doing. Oh, okay. I saw on Facebook, but really, I just played video games and smoked pot. <laughs> what video games did you play? I've been I've been replaying all the the old uh, GTAs. Okay. Oh I'm fuck on, yeah! I'm on San Andreas right now, so oh shit, that's what I've been doing. All right, all right. San I just got the casino open so I can go in there and win lots of money and then buy all the fucking property for no apparent reason. <laughs> okay. Except they make you in that one. They make you go on dates with these girls. Oh, and come on, man. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Come on. I want to, I just want to like take them out twice. And if they're not fucking with it by then, then they can just get fucked. <laughs> can you, do you kill them? Or is that not I, one I have of the to get options? the key card first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Once I get the key card, that bitch better not come back around because <laughs> I will fucking shoot her in the head. Oh, Jesus. In the game. In the, in game. the game. It's a game. Just a game. It's just a game. I love women. What? <laughs> what? What, do you, what game do you think's better? Uh, GTA or Red Dead Redemption? Oh, it's not even close. GTA. Oh, you're fucking Red hot. Dead is so oh, stupid. God. Oh, my God. It's dumb. Fight. 
I no. oh, it's so dumb. It's so good. It's so not. No, it's it's so good. You know how good it is. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I played for how twenty minutes and then fucking yeah. gave it to my friend. No, that's no. how good it is. Red Dead Redemption. They thought of everything to the point to where if you are on a horse in the south part of the map where it's warm, and you ride that horse all the way to the north where it's extremely cold and snowy, the horse's balls get small. That's how much they thought of, of everything in oh, this I game. Oh, I didn't know there were horses' balls involved. <laughs> yeah. I may change my mind. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's it depends on how detailed everything else is, too. If there's, like, like stick, stick figure houses yeah, but the and balls shit get like that, big and, and they're small like, but look, the there's balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can't believe you're even comparing. Oh, GTA. me. I can't believe you think Red Dead's better. They're even oh. made by the same maker. I know. Oh, man. I don't like Red Dead at well, all. Well, the new one's coming out. New GTA is getting ready to come out. So That's what they keep saying. Yeah, but they keep on pushing it back and uh-huh. pushing it back. Yeah, it was supposed to come out last year. Oh, okay. Well, it did not. It did not. Anything else uh, that you did fun? Did you get your bowling ball? No, you got to wait mm, another month. Two, for that. two more weeks. Two more weeks. <laughs> two more weeks, baby. Yeah. And that thing is mine. Is it weighted? Well, I mean, yeah. Well, you know what I'm Everything saying. Everything like, is weighted. Well, like bowling balls have like that weight that's kind of offset, so it has a little bit more spin that to it. That would be the core. Okay, the core is offset. It does have a core. Okay. Is it offset, though? I mean, I don't know. Oh, okay. So I hope this ball fucks with your score. <laughs> it will fucking okay. raise my score. Oh, is that what it'll do? Because it doesn't matter what ball I throw. Oh, is that right? I'm that fucking good. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. What would be the worst thing for a, a bowling ball to be made out of? Fingernails. <laughs> Fingernails is pretty good. <laughs> but, the, uh, I mean, you'd have to stick it together with, like, an epoxy, epoxy. or some type of epoxy. So it would basically be an epoxy ball. Yeah, yeah it would. It wouldn't be a fingernails ball. I, that would just fall apart. Probably rubber. If it, if it was only. Why? Why? Well, I mean, because it would bounce and shit. No, they used to make them out of rubber way back in the day. Like that's what the yeah. I remember playing in gym class with like basically rubber bowling balls. Shit, I forgot all about that. But yeah, I remember. But these were hard rubber though. Yeah, yeah, they were. uh, I remember. Yeah, I don't think those were great. Otherwise, they probably would have just been still using those. How much would a diamond bowling ball weigh? That seems like a question for Chat GPT. Yeah. You guys go ahead. I'm going (laughs) to. Mike finally found a friend. (laughs) He did. Dude, I I can't wait until Siri on the iPhone integrates a a thing like this because I can ask it such obscure shit. That I just happen to wonder at any moment. It's it's g- terrible for humanity. Not my chat, GPT. I try to ask it very inappropriate things, and immediately it comes up with like the automated answer of, that's fucked up, basically, but it's like a paragraph long, and so I don't get the answers that I want. Well, so, that sucks. Yeah, it kind of does. Uh, I, had a, I had a weekend, buddy. Good. I had a weekend. Right on. You want to guess what I... Golf. Did not do. You didn't golf? I did not golf. Wow, and you... Still here? I'm here. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed, here. man. You didn't, um, like, implode? N- uh, I mean... I haven't bowled for two weeks now. It's so, fucking killing me, so, man. Okay, so then you're kind of... Like I got to go practice or something. Yeah, like, I need to go to the driving range or some shit. But, no, I did not golf all weekend. Wow. I needed a break. Uh, I, I'm about ready to, to, like, bulldoze the fuck out of my house because I'm so frustrated. Um, yeah. It's You're bad. just gonna fucking if I mean don't bulldoze it, man. I'll take it. Well, it's got uh, it's got it's got some serious issues that I have to pay for to get fixed. So, well, you pay mad. for those and then I'll and take then it. you'll take yeah, it. Yeah, I don't okay. want it. Don't fucking give me all your issues. No, I don't. It's gonna get fixed, but I'm just like yeah, oh, fucking over. So cool, I was man. I was very stressed out. That but sucks. but uh, I did watch. I did start watching. You ready for it? <sighs> I'm ready. Ted Lasso, dude, it's amazing. Mm. I did start watching it and. Uh, it's good. Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's very good. Oh, no. it's Wait, it just gets better and better. I know. It's one of the few shows that it just, every time you think that it can't top itself, it tops itself. And it's not like, it's, amazing. it's funny, but it's not, it's, it's. I, I, I laughed, I cried. Yeah. I fucking, it's, it's, every emotion. It was like, a roller coaster. It's like Parenthood. Did you ever watch that yeah, show? Yeah, no. I love that show, show too. No, yeah, I, I never watched too. that fucking show. Oh, man. But no, it's good. It's Watch just, it with your wife. You it, guys will love each other more. <laughs> no. Uh, that's going to be pretty tough. I mean, in parts. In some parts, you'll be like, in we some should parts, we, like, we we don't don't make fight with each <laughs> yeah. other, right? <laughs> We're sleeping in separate rooms tonight. But when the guy from Coach is in, <laughs> yeah, he's good. then I'm like, man, they love each other a lot. 
I watched it with my, I watched Ted Lasso with my with my wife and my brother and his fiance, and it's so funny because it's the stupid humor that gets certain people tickled. It doesn't get me near as bad. I'm much I have a much darker sense of humor. But we're watching, and then Ted Lazo just gets to uh, England, so it's episode one, mm-hmm. and they're looking up at, uh, at at the bridge, and Ted Lazo goes, he goes, we know that's not the London one, that one's this one's still up, and then walks out of the screen. My brother is fucking Dude. pissing himself yeah, over is. here, and I'm like, what? And You're like, that's like, just a on. cute line. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and I'm just like, okay, it's it's funny, but I mean, uh, come on, the acting is unreal, the the writing is phenomenal yeah what and, a great show and he's from kansas for, the, for we're all from kansas none of us have that fucking accent right i, I don't know very many people have i don't know i don't even think i have an accent exactly so I don't either know what you're i'm talking about i don't either yeah exactly so I talk as straight as you can talk i'm sure i don't ha- i want to watch ted lasso but i don't have apple tv that maybe, was that maybe was, somebody will venmo me ten dollars and i'll get it <laughs> okay what's your venmo comedian mike baldwin there, there you, you go, go. <laughs> Thanks for the plug. There you go. Oh, by the way, I, this is important. Uh, about 38 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> this is important. Hold on. I have the answer. It took a while, it's but we got Chat there. Chat GPD didn't want to tell me at first. 38 <laughs> pounds. 16 pounds is the max. It that said you there's get. no commercially available diamond bullock ball, and it's highly unlikely that such a product <laughs> exists. And then later it says, if you were somehow to create a bowling ball entirely out of diamond, it would be exceptionally heavy and likely far too heavy to be used for bowling. Additionally, the cost of a ball would be astronomical. (laughs) And then I said, but how much would it weigh, hypothetically? And it said, hypothetically, it gave me a bunch of shit. Four Uh, four over three three times pi times radius cube. It gave you an equation to figure it out for yourself. But it said, converting grams to pounds, the weight would be approximately 38.7 pounds. Yeah, that's too heavy. That's way too heavy. That'd go through the lane, wouldn't it? I mean, I no, it's like twice it as heavy as a regular ball. <laughs> I don't think it would like go. <laughs> of course it would. No. <laughs> <laughs> it depends, though. It depends on how fast you spin it because, you know, diamond. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it starts so cutting you, into it the It just line? cuts through. The, it Fuck could yeah. create a black hole, dude. It we could. should be careful. We should be careful. We could change the course of the universe. Yeah. I wonder how much it would cost. one diamond bowling though. ball. I don't know, but I'll gonna, throw in on it. All you, right. You want to see something? I got 10 bucks. If you want to see something really, really cool, go to a bowling alley. I didn't do this, wink, wink, but I know a dude that got took a bowling ball from the bowling alley, drove 60 mile an hour on the and highway, threw it out. and threw yeah. it out the window. Yeah, that's not good for him. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you don't want to do that to your bowling ball you if you sure ever don't. want to use it again. <laughs> you yeah. sure don't. Oh, man. <laughs> Make sure nobody's around you. Right, because <laughs> chunks will fly. <laughs> Lots oh, of them. Lots of them. That's cheaper than I thought it would be. It's only $27,430,000. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, man, in that case, just let me write you a check right <laughs> yeah. now. It's 5,500 carats. Oh, that's a lot of that, fucking carrots. That's a lot of, that's a mm. lot of Bugs Bunny food. That mm-hmm. would be cool to be, to be like, Elon or Jeff Bezos and just buy a diamond bowling ball but buy it like a ring and give it to a girl and to see a girl wearing a bowling ball diamond ring <laughs> it's a different kind all of the haircut. other women would just be like oh my let, god let me that see looks your ring. beautiful <laughs> <laughs> that's a little excessive oh but it's not on a ring it's like her finger is in the, in bowling, the bowling ball, ball. <laughs> yeah. uh, shit. Funny. that is pretty funny all right uh, so I did watch Ted Lazo good um and uh, I okay. So do you remember when Jackass came out and they had skits just fucking with people in public places all the time? Oh, yeah. I and, hate that. I, I I absolutely fucking hate it. It's so awkward. Um, I went to, I went to the mall. I went to the the mall that we have here. That's not a pile of shit. I went to the one out east. Yeah. And uh, I, for the very first time in my entire life, I had a fucking child. He was he had to be like fourteen, maybe fifteen. Like I'm not around, I'm not allowed to be around. There. I know that's why you can't go to the mall. Right. But but all of a sudden I'm like looking at my phone and walking with my wife, and all of a sudden I see out of my peripheral vision in front of me that somebody's standing in front of me, and so I just kind of look up, and there this 14, 15 year old kid is with his cell phone turned up all the way, playing some like serenading song I've never heard of. And he's like looking at me dead in the eyes and singing it to me all sexy like. And I'm just like, where was this? 
This is a townie small. Okay. Why? What day? <laughs> <laughs> what, about approximately what time were you there? Oh, God, I would hate for that to happen. I would hate. Me. Yeah, I, know, I just want to avoid that. Wait, where are strippers giving <laughs> free blowjobs? <laughs> that sounds oh, terrible. This, it was like a little chunky fat kid trying to impress his friends, and I think I ruined his entire weekend because of what I said back to him. Oh. What a jerk. I it was just a fucking kid, man. He's trying to have some fun. I It's not fun. Not for what you. What did you say to him? Did you make fun of his fat? Yeah, did you call him a fat little fuck? No, I said, you're one of them they, them pronouns, aren't you? And all of his friends around him looked at him and was like, oh, fuck. And I was like, yeah, hey, I, I, I just wanted yeah. to make sure. I'm. It's weird that I'm more okay with that than I am <laughs> you calling him fat. <laughs> that's, that's true. Calling him fat. At least hits, you didn't call him fat. That's home, home more for me, yeah. <laughs> and he left. Uh, but I just like, man, I, I remember doing that shit when I was young and we called it original dumb fuck and we went into PetSmart and one of my buddies acted like they were from Russia and tried to grab goldfish out of the fishbowl at PetSmart. That was in, that was fun. But like, I never really fucked with other people. I just didn't do that. What? You're just Nothing. like looking over. We're, <laughs> we're just judging you. Oh, we're okay, judging you. Funny. But no, I did dumb stuff as a kid. Yeah. We did the uh, a friend of our uh, a friend of ours had a like his parents had money, so they had a pool and a little tennis court and oh, stuff. Yeah. And we took the like the net off the tennis court and like fastened it around the pool somehow, and that was like funny to us. And then we hid in the trees while they like came out. To find out that they couldn't get in the pool because <laughs> there was tennis court net all over it. <laughs> Big fucking burn, dude. And then we all just giggled about it. You know. Kid stuff. <laughs> Kid stuff. Oh, Jesus. But Christ. we also like TP'd people. We I got TP'd when I was probably in my late twenties, early thirties, and we were poor enough that we gathered up all the toilet paper and used it for the next like month. <laughs> Well, like, that's good. I've never been TP'd, but I have been DP'd. A I'm few sure times. you have. That's just fabulous. I don't know if that's different. That's definitely different. It's not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and last but not least, I made an executive decision about uh, all of our videos on TikTok. Uh, you can now you can now save them. You can now save them to your phone to share them that way. Good. Um, so, which is actually kind of cool because hopefully that that helps. Uh, you can send them to people now as opposed to just tagging them then in the video which uh, I didn't like for a long period of time because I felt like a lot of people were stealing our stuff. Now, to the point, it's like... Well, of course they're going to steal it. They're going to steal it anyway. It's TikTok. So... It's okay. Uh, so it's fine. Yeah, that's good. But, and then people can like do edit and stuff too. Oh no, they can all. You can always do edit, and you can always use but the sound, now, but you couldn't save it. So but now, now you can, you can do edit. Also. I'm gonna do at one of the videos, and I'm just gonna do exactly what I do in the fucking <laughs> yeah thing. But then I'm just gonna have like two fucking scarecrows sitting beside me, and then that's gonna be you guys. I hope I'm the more attractive oh, scarecrow. You're gonna be the the, the very very attractive. You're scarecrow. gonna be the blow up gonna, doll. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what you're gonna be. Uh, but other than that, man, I had a pretty, I had a pretty easy, easy week. Chilled. I slept till ten o'clock in the morning one time. Nice. That was pretty fucking amazing. That is Why'd you have to get up so early? I, I didn't. Uh, normally, I'm up by five thirty so I can go golf. Yeah, I know. I was joking. I that know. was me being a piece of shit. He doesn't <laughs> wake up okay. by ten. And it happens. All right, but that is uh, our week week recap for this week. Uh, we got a lot of current events that uh, you guys may or may not be interested in, but uh, I tried to gather some some interesting ones. Uh, the first thing that I saw, which I hate Little League Baseball. I think it's an absolute joke of a sport. However, I thought it was good enough to uh, – it's not baseball, dude. Don't look at me like that. It's baseball. Not I mean, even it's, close. It's baseball. You yeah. can't even get leads. They're pitching from fucking T-ball field dimensions. It's not baseball. Uh, but anyways, the 12 and under boys beat the shit out of the New Zealand boys uh, 43 to 1. That'll teach them. Wow. Well, Stupid New Zealanders. When does the umpire come in and say, oh, okay, he's had enough? I just, I'm proud of the guy who got the one. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's probably a fucking hero. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're probably having a parade right now in his honor. <laughs> we yeah. got one dinger. We that didn't was, get skunked. I remember when I lived in the Kansas City area when uh, I think it was either Rena Center or. One of those places where, like, if the Chiefs blow out the Raiders, then every TV you buy this week ends up being free. So a bunch of people, like, went to the place and bought, like, expensive flat screen TVs. And then the Chiefs did blow out the Raiders. And then I think they, like, declared bankruptcy or something. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I guess. Uh, success. 
Uh, but that's enough of that. <laughs> but, oh, the point was, I yeah. bet that somebody in the New Zealand area was like, if they get blown out, and then that one guy got one run, and then they're like, they're fuck, like, fuck, fuck. We don't get our free television. Some fuck you, Barry. <laughs> something tells me there was a spread for a bet on this particular game somewhere, and I don't think anybody thought. 42. It was gonna, I don't think it was going to be 42. <laughs> just, just a guess. Uh, but we had a big, huge pay-per-view in the UFC over the weekend. Yes, yeah, everybody's we had, been talking about it. Uh, yeah, everybody saw the boxing one, and I don't really care. But the UFC 291 was fucking awesome. Uh, one of my favorite sure fighters. <clears throat> one of my favorite fighters is Derek Lewis. He's, his uh, nickname is the Black Beast. I fucking love that guy. It's racist. Dude. That's what his name oh, is. He is racist. That's what his name He's is. He's racist. God damn it. God. You know I this. love him. I love him. Have you, have you awesome. not been on the show before? You don't know that Scotty doesn't like black people? <clears throat> no, but I'm going to ask my friend Asian Dave what he thinks about that. <laughs> you should. And I bet he's not going to like it. He's not oh going to like God. it. Anyways, Derek Lewis uh, looked fucking great. He cut quite a bit of weight, and he actually had six-pack for once, which was crazy. Uh, but he ends up knocking out his opponent in like maybe two minutes, something like that, maybe less. Uh, but in every single post-fight interview, he always has like – the best post fight interviews. He always says something ridiculous or out of this world. And then he always like, like, I don't even know this, this week he took off his fucking shorts. He took off his pants and like acted like he was stripping. He's down to his underwear and he's running all over the place and looking cool. But whenever Joe Rogan gets the microphone up to him, uh, he said, shout out to my wife. You know, I'm finna come home and bust them guts. Get ready, girl. And I thought that was fucking hilarious. Yeah, I can see that being funny. Did Joe Rogan laugh? Oh, fuck yeah, he did. I I would imagine so. Oh, yeah. And I bet he did go home and bust them guts. It's definitely uh, something I would... That that would be a different bet. I would Lucky bet that he bitch. did. Yeah. What? Lucky bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, I, th I wouldn't want. I, I wouldn't feel adequate if a girl was like, "Come over here and bust these guts." <laughs> I'd be like, "Do you want?" I'll. I can poke you in the vagina a yeah. little bit, but that's the best I can I'll do. I'll put my wiener in you. But I ain't. Busting I don't know if I can nothing. reach your guts. <laughs> oh God! Oh, that's terrible. Uh, but love it, love it whenever Derek Lewis wins. But the main event was um, uh, the BMF title, which is bad motherfucker. Apparently, they couldn't say it on the UFC uh, pay per view. But anyways, Justin Gaethje and Dustin Poirier went, I think, into the second round, and Justin Gaethje had a fucking awesome uh, high kick. It was a right roundhouse that ended up knocking uh, Poirier out, which it was a cool fight to watch. Um, I was really excited to be able to watch it. It was the first UFC fight I saw in a long time, but the whole pay-per-view was, was pretty awesome. So that's that. Uh, right. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. I, I just wanted to mention it. I mean, I, cool. UFC to me is like, it's, it's one of those things that I would never, I'm trying to compare it to something, but like I would never pay my own money for it. But when it's on, I enjoy it. You oh, know? sure. I definitely it's pay like money for it. It's like gay porn. You would never pay for go. it. But if it's on, I mean, I'm going to check it out. Right. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's a good time. Something, the, something the same tells with me. The guts busting. I'm the like, guts busting. I only is, watch gay porn yeah. to feel inadequate right. about myself. Something tells me that. Me too. <laughs> something tells me that Mike has like accidentally <clears throat> watched a gay porn long enough to figure out that there were no women that were coming into picture until until the actual moment where the gay fucking happened. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I used to tell a story about that on stage. Oh, where it was just like <laughs> lucky like, guess. Like I typed in redheads and it was just like a redheaded dude fucking a redheaded dude. <laughs> And I was like, no, dude. Like, I've seen that one. That's not what I meant yeah. at all. You know that's not what I meant. Hot. Uh, anyway, speaking of redheaded dudes, uh, we had an unfortunate event. Joe Burrow is going to be out for a couple of weeks. He apparently has a calf strain, uh, quarterback for the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, it, it was kind of – I mean, it was a non-injury deal. It didn't look too terribly bad whenever it happened. He was just dropping back, right? Uh, he was kind of rolling happened. out. He was rolling yeah. out. Yeah. Um, but anyways, it uh, it was kind of funny because the fans in Cincinnati were actually calling the front office offering, uh, like, calf replacements. Like, they were going to donate their own calf to help Joe Burrow. God. Come on. How ridiculous – are we with the shit? Well, plus that would take longer to heal. Yeah, than, right. Than no than fucking let it heal. Fucking right. kidding. Uh, but basically, since the NFL is starting to get underway, you've got uh, Trent. You have camps that are going on right now, and, and this is where all the movement gets a little crazy. You got Jonathan Taylor for the Colts, who's requesting a trade. 
Uh, there's of course that. he is. Uh, well, f- get the fuck out of Indianapolis. It doesn't make sense. Um, and you've got Dalvin Cook, who may go to the Jets, and the Jets may actually be good. They may actually be better than the fucking Patriots. It's going to be a crazy, crazy season. But the fun part of the NFL news is I don't know if you saw Travis Kelsey tried to get Taylor Swift's number. Did you see that? He tried to give her his number. Well, he tried to get her number by giving her his number on On a a bracelet. bracelet. What a fag. No wonder she said no. Yeah. Because of the bracelet? Yeah, what a douche. (laughs) I wouldn't give up. No. (laughs) Not unless it's a diamond bowling ball size bracelet. And then I bet bet he could have got her fucking number. Yeah, it's true. Plus, Uh, she was like, I want a, a player that plays for a real team. Like anybody but kansas city <laughs> <laughs> like the detroit lions sure man okay we'll thanks. Go with the I'll, lions, go, I'll man. go with that just for you buddy Got my lion shit on today so might as well uh but last but not least justin fields quarterback for the chicago bears is signing babies now did you see that nice yeah mom did was somebody like, ask him to oh big time okay a, good. a mom like held the baby over a fence like it was the scene from lion king like it like sign the sign my baby and so here's justin like are you fucking serious right now <laughs> it's like talladega okay. nights yeah exactly only it wasn't across the baby's forehead it was uh, I mean, the baby was wearing a, a was jersey. Ass. Uh, okay. So he so, signed the jersey. Yeah, he signed the back of the baby's jersey. But well, I'm still that's like, still, that's not as cool as signing the I top of you, a baby's yeah, head. I agree. I thought it was the real the baby uh, itself. You're not gonna want to wash that forehead. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still the same thing. Is is like the the mom is holding the baby up over a fence and i'm just kind of like this is some michael jackson shit you know what i'm saying yeah i just uh i don't know go around go around the fence get some special i don't know special treatment so you i think i'm gonna have baby. i'm gonna start going to like sporting events and going to concerts and to of people that i like and admire and then i'm just gonna have them sign me sure and then i'm gonna have a tattoo tattooed yeah a lot I'm of people have be, that idea i'm yeah. just gonna be signature uh, all over me it's just signature. how much so would you be people. worth can i buy you Fuck yeah, you can. I'm pretty cheap right now. I'm sure you um, are. I'd do it now before I get popular because right now. You should just do like couple, a. Whatever you got your wallet's fine. <laughs> do a couple much. bucks. Do yeah. a sleeve first. Yeah, like right. don't don't let them sign yeah. just anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Like make like a yeah. signature sleeve. Right. That would look really cool that actually. That would look pretty cool. I agree. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's the It's going to be a bunch of bowlers. <laughs> right you'll be like look at all the neat signatures check that like, out that's pete weber right there <laughs> right? i'm like i don't know who that is it might have been <laughs> tom <laughs> simmons or whatever he's trying to be like hey you can hey, buy man. you can buy pete hey, weber man. his autograph right here it's like you couldn't give me 12 bucks to to own you but then pete if weber. somebody gets super famous then you might be the only guy who has his autograph and you'll have to chop your arm off in that's order to true sell i could just eBay. i should just go around town doing random people Who's yeah like, excuse Hulk me hogan's signed who's arm who's the most famous bowler you know uh roy munson (laughs) (laughs) that's gonna say wow i was gonna say bill murray yeah well (laughs) yeah so (laughs) there you go jp that's how popular you don't even know his character name oh what i bill murray no, like you don't know his character. Oh name. no, fuck no! Yeah. It's a bowling. What movie is his character name? Shit. Do you know? Nope. <laughs> I'm surprised I remembered Roy Munson. <laughs> Who the fuck is Roy Munson? It's Woody Harrelson's character. Oh, the from, other one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I I won't watch. Did you that think movie. I was just making up a name? Or? Yeah, kind of, sorta. I was. There was a good possibility that it was from the same movie because I don't know of many other bowling movies. So that's that. There aren't. Any. I'm good, thank God. Doesn't Big Lebowski have a little yeah, Big bit of Lebowski's bowling in it? He's got a bowling oh, yeah. theme. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna ask Chat GPT <laughs> who oh, are the top ten bowlers of all time. There we go. Walter Ray Williams Jr., uh, Jason Belmonte, Pete Weber. This is what fucks up my TikTok algorithm, by the way. There's three. I can do more. Walter Ray William Jr. There it is. Earl Anthony, Pete <laughs> Weber, Norm Duke. I can, I can do a lot more. Dick Weber. That's JP's Johnny Petraglia name. might be in there somewhere. No. Carmen oh. Salvino. Carmen Salvino. Don oh. Carter. Is there anybody that you're like, oh, fuck him. No, I like all Marshall those Marshall Holman. I like all those Brian guys. Brian Voss. I'm not a big Brian Voss fan. I think yeah. he's an all right dude, but I just, I don't know. Thanks again for tuning in to the <laughs> Fuck Brian Voss show. 
We don't care yeah. about anything in the news. We just want Brian Voss to see this. I want to know how much pussy these guys are getting for being the best bowlers of all time. Anyways, uh, moving on to the non-sports related current events. Some of us just do it for the love of the game. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to. I'm doing this for the <laughs> pussy. No, you gotta no, find a no, better reason, are. buddy. Because if you're doing it for that, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that tickled me a little bit. Uh, but anyways, uh, Cardi B, she's uh, she's getting drinks thrown at her on stage. Yeah, I saw that, and then that bitch just straight <laughs> threw her <laughs> mic at him. Oh, yeah. Threw the microphone back at the guy. But, sure did. But that tells me, oh, that tells awesome. me, like, like is that then fuck you? <laughs> is that the fans' fault for throwing the drink? Because guess what she, else she did over the weekend? I don't know what she did it again. Only she threw it at the DJ. In Las Vegas. The mic? Yes. Man, she just likes to throw she shit. Likes to throw I like her, shit. man. No. Everybody hates on her, but. Oh, that, I can't stand people like that. That's awesome. I had, My wife used to do that to me all the time, and I had to get that nixed. What, she throw would her throw microphone microphones at you? At you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> we used to do a podcast together, and she just would just fucking yeah, just throw that. Oh, you literally meant throw a microphone at you. No, not really. Oh, but okay. <laughs> I was no, like, I'm, wow. I'd like to that's... throw my microphone at him right now, but it's fucking attached to the stand. Yeah, like, mine's. My, my, I wouldn't do such a thing. I, I I don't know if this is an actual like scientific study or something, but like women sometimes when they get really frustrated, they overreact. <laughs> They, <laughs> that's weird i didn't just, know that about women all you gotta do dude is just tell <laughs> just tell them that they're being irrational and they need to calm down yeah that's all you have to do that's what i would do in that situation <laughs> i don't know <laughs> hey buddy you nailed it sorry yeah, that I mean, was great yeah. uh no but you know she maybe just has that thing i think when sometimes whenever she just gets really angry with whoever she, she just throws just, shit, she at, just him. Throws that's shit cool. at him you know i had an ex like that once that's weird threw hot pockets at me once <laughs> jesus fucking... christ oh man plate and all man yeah <laughs> plate, plate and all i would yeah. never date anybody after they threw something at me <laughs> especially a hot pocket oh, anything man. or a diamond plated bowling ball anything that that's that's, that's gonna be hard to, hard to throw, throw. <laughs> It's going to be hard to throw. You're not going to throw it very far. <laughs> but, and if it hits you, it's going to hurt. That's true. Uh, she can throw it like, clothes at me. That'd be fine. Yeah, that'd be okay. That's perfect. <laughs> as I long like, as they're the ones she was wearing. Uh, well, yeah. Or if I'm like, hey, will you, like if she's doing my laundry. Toss she, me those underwear. Because she would yeah. be doing my laundry. I'd be like, hey, <laughs> throw me that shirt. And if she just balled it up and threw it like a baseball okay. as hard as she could, yeah, yeah. I would like giggle at that. Because it's a T-shirt, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. I don't know why this popped into my head, but there is a a, a gentleman that I helped probably within the last couple of weeks, and it just came to my head whenever you said start throwing clothes at people. But um, just throwing it out there, a fifty year old person who puts his wife and or girlfriend's underwear over the rearview mirror of their vehicle to show they get pussy. Wow is such a fucking tool bag. I hold on. I got to go to my car. <laughs> Take something down. Those aren't your girlfriends. Those are yours, dog. Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't find that appealing <laughs> at all. Like if I got into a guy's car and he had that, I would be like, all right, are you, is this a joke or <laughs> yeah. is this your son's car? Uh, <laughs> even if it's then, even if you're in high school, don't do that shit. Yeah. That's such a weird thing to do. Uh, anyways, uh, I'd have to sniff them to make sure it was the exactly. real deal. You know what I mean? Dude, did you God, just go after to Walmart? being in a hot car for several days? You'd probably know. You probably would know right <laughs> you away. You wouldn't have to get yeah. them up close to your face. You would just yeah. open the car door and be it's like, true. oh man, somebody left used pants. It's okay. I'll meet you there. I'm going to call an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> They've got menstrual stains in the crotch. Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Yeah, a little bad. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that went off the rails. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, last thing I wanted to talk about was there is a man who decided to spend $14,000 for a custom made collie dog costume and walk around uh, a park to where he acted like he was getting greeted by actual people. Does he look like a real dog or does he look like a dude in a dog suit? <laughs> I mean, I've, I mean, he was Asian, so he could be small enough. <laughs> uh, that might have worked. It, it, I, 
it. Uh, I mean, if you spent that much money, you would think it'd look pretty realistic. It, yeah. I mean, is it like a Chewbacca costume or uh, like a... This is... <laughs> they just bought a Chewbacca like, Wait, costume. Wait, is that a real dog? Spray painted some white on it. And uh-huh. like, yeah, there you go. They if put you look, a Lassie tag on the collar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's a collie. If look you, at it. I will say this because I saw pictures of man in said costume. It's definitely not one of those pop-up Halloween stores that used to take over Blockbuster stores. They still stuff. do that Spirit Halloween. I, yeah, Spirit yeah. Halloween. Okay, it's not like one of those costumes. It's definitely an expensive costume, but holy fuck, $14,000? That's a little much uh, for what he paid and what he looked like. But you can definitely tell that's not a real fucking talk. <laughs> You could just yeah. say that. Well, so congratulations to him, I guess. Yeah, you know. I just I don't give people that do that kind of stuff my attention. I don't either. Because that's what they want. And Except I, for talking about it on the show of how ridiculous you are. Well, I mean, there's a I, big it, there's a big swing of uh, pup play. In yeah, the game. I don't get it. I wouldn't be. Why interested. is that? Yeah, I don't get it. It's disturbing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Even for me, and that's <laughs> look, man. Wait, I'm don't be you honest. put stuff in your butt? Right, quite a bit <laughs> of things. What you guys are doing yeah. is gross. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I don't man. get it. it I don't be. either. Why do you want to fuck a dog? I don't know. That's what's more disturbing to me is that there's they, this guy on my Facebook and, <laughs> and uh, that I follow. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> but he's like really into it, and he's fucking got a name, a different name, and he he's Fido. got an, an alpha. Oh God! And he he the guy died or whatever the alpha died. Oh, and now he's like, oh, I miss my. And he's got like a painting of him in his little pup mask, and I, it's fucking disturbing. <laughs> well, how old That's was what he? It is. How old was he in dog years? I don't know. <laughs> I don't I mean, fucking know. I'm just throwing. I mean, throwing he, it was he, he was young. He was young. He's still a pup. Oh, he was still apparently. a pup. Yeah. So, do, uh, I mean, I assume I at some point this dude's actually he having fly sex out. with yeah, animals, yeah. right? He, or just humans? Just, and is he hopefully doing, just humans? And is he gay? Is oh he, yeah, they're gay. So is they're the, uber gay? So is <laughs> I the, think you gotta be. Is the dog male? No, oh, yeah. So he's doing butt stuff with oh, the yeah, dog. With, yeah, yeah. <sighs> and that's this week in the news. <laughs> okay. No, I guess I guess if we're gonna go there, yeah, I, that, I that, it's so disturbing. That, that's so disturbing. But yeah. I, but there's one thing that's worse than that to me. I mean, go ahead. But I mean, there's something that's worse. Yes. What's worse? I, I didn't even know about it until I saw something on Twitter that came on my feed. Have you ever heard of people that are transabled? What, like they cut their hand off? No, like they identify as someone who had their who hand cut off, who can't use their legs. So they will go and have a procedure done so their legs no longer work. This is real shit. <laughs> they, do they get like Medicaid and shit after that? Because I mean, I need to call my doctor. But imagine Can, you're the you're the doctor or uh, the insurance company, and yeah, they're like, how's that work? we're gonna get how much money for this? All right, okay. fucking let's sever his spinal cord. What the fuck? If that's what he thing. wants. I kind of want to be the doctor. That's in this. a thing. That's a thing. I wow, mean, people. I, like a month later, he's oh. like, all right, that was fun. Okay. I'm ready. Oh. Reattach it. And they're like, sorry, dude. You know, there's probably a couple handfuls of things we can go, what the fuck? <laughs> and people say, and there's that no is need. not one of them. And then so people don't. say that, that mental illness isn't something that's real. Like, we don't need to treat it. I beg to differ. <laughs> I beg to differ. I like, just, somewhere along the line, yeah. we went fucking off the rails as a society. Yeah. I, I said this on a f- Facebook post the other day. I commented this. We are in the the fuck I can't <laughs> Right. Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's like, dude, you can't chop your junk off. It's like, yes, the I fuck can. I can't. <laughs> All right. Well, can't. you can't chop your kid's junk off. Oh. Fuck you, man. <laughs> oh, Tell me what to do. Well, the the thing that gets me is I'm ready for somebody to be like I identify as a slower person, and uh, they get to hire me just sitting Derek. there with <laughs> Derek's going to come to me, and I'm just going to be like, just smack him on the head with a tack hammer just over and over, and eventually oh, you get man. there. I want to be that guy. Okay. Uh, but anyways, that is the current events for this week. Uh, yeah. That was fun. That was a fun, I can't, yeah. fun I can't week, wait America. For the next, uh, Bring segment. it back. Give us more shit to make fun of you guys about. So, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, but now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. Uh, we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Guys, if you have any suggestions for any of these upcoming segments, you can send your suggestions to us at Twitter, which is at LOT Sidelines. If you are not following us there yet, 
please do because a lot of the videos that will be taken down in other places will not be taken down there. Where? Twitter. Twitter. Well, you mean the X, X app? You mean X. Oh, yeah, they changed the logo, yeah. but it's really weird because if you go and look on your phone, sometimes it's the X and sometimes it's still the fucking bird. Yeah, oh, when really? it's still in the folder. Yeah, it's, it's in the still, folder. They, oh, haven't, okay. they yeah. haven't figured it out yet. They haven't figured it out. Yeah. They're still working on I it. I said this the other day. I think that Elon changed Twitter to X for the same reason that after World War II, people who happen to have the last name Hitler oh. were, were like, eh, I'm going to go by Johnson from now <laughs> yeah. on because I think things will come out about Twitter that are terrible bad and, things and <clears throat> Elon doesn't want to be associated with sure. that when it comes out in the news yeah but you can also send your suggestions to us on Instagram which is at laughing on the sidelines however videos are still being taken down over there uh, but uh, the first one this week is overrated or underrated getting a whole body wax underrated what Dude, I got at, at the first time that I got my junk waxed, I did it as like a, a fun joke sort of thing where I was like, I'll fucking do it. I don't care. And then I did it. And, and now he's doing it every year. The it, next month ever was like the coolest month that I've ever had regarding my balls. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> They're smooth for a really long time. And like if you shave your balls or something, then it you get razor burn sometimes or you get the prickliness when it grows back if you don't shave it again. But when you get wax, first of all, and this was told to me when I was like a freshman before I ever did anything with girls, basically. <laughs> but my friend Ricky said at football practice one time, he goes, if you shave your balls, girls will want to put them in your mouth <laughs> or in their mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not in, not put my balls in my mouth, but so that was the, and then I shaved them and I eventually hooked up with a girl and she, Did. that was her go-to. Yeah. Okay. Like she, they touch them and then they're like, oh, I want these to be in my mouth. <laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah, no, I would like to shave, uh, have my whole body waxed. I think that would be cool. So are we going to do it? <laughs> Send money to Venmo at yeah. Comedian Mike Baldwin. We're talking to eyebrows and everything, though. Mike, your mm. Venmo is going to yeah. be blowing it's up. It's whole body. No, I don't want to do eyebrows. It's whole body, buddy. All body. Whole so body. I, would look, I would look like powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I want to lose some weight first. I don't want to lose some weight first. I don't want to be the fat powder. <laughs> I don't like... Uh, yeah, my if I shave my chest and my belly, then I look a lot more like a fat kid <laughs> yeah. than a fat man. <laughs> but it's just so much more comfortable to sure. And I just swim so much faster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't swim that much, but when I go on when float I do, trips, I like to go fast. <laughs> when, I, when I go on float trips, I float so much faster. There you go. There you go. How about you, JP? Um, I was going to go overrated, but I guess underrated. <laughs> uh, Mike, Mike makes some good points. It is. It's <laughs> nice. Yeah. And the balls in, in their mouth thing. Yeah. Uh, well, and is. just the, the and if a girl touches them with her hand, then she'll go, oh, mm. and that alone is like, hell yeah. Yeah, I don't do. I don't like that. Um, I'm going overrated, and and I I will admit on this show I am not a hairy individual at all. I am not. I don't. I I armpits, head, balls. That's it. I don't have hair on my ass. However, I good to know. Yeah. Uh, no, no. This is good where to it, know. this is where it gets awkward. But your balls are hairy. Oh yes, they are. So um, so your wife either doesn't put them in her mouth or she's going <laughs> 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 a lot. Sometimes it sounds like she's blowing a dandelion <laughs> and it accidentally inhales. <laughs> but no, I have, I do have hair in one very weird place that will have to get waxed, and I, I couldn't do it just for the very sake of knowing it's going to hurt so bad. Get that, your taint waxed. No, oh. it is my nipples. I look like a fucking mano lantern already. Like, I don't have any hair anywhere else on my chest or my back or my ass or anything, but I somehow grow hair around my nipples like they're halos. Yeah, and man. That's kind of awesome. That's your body trying to protect its nipples. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> like, stay away. Stay away. <laughs> so, but I, I just go ahead and shave those in the shower. Or otherwise, my wife laughs at me when I take my shirt off. Mm. So, fun, fun fact about Scotty. That's, that was fun. That's a good that one. That was to, a good one. That's a good one to spread around. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated? Face tattoos. I say underrated okay. because I fucking love tattoos. Even a half-ass looking dude with a bunch of tattoos, I'll fuck them. 
Uh, okay. I love tattoos. But mm-hmm. they're on your face. I don't care. Okay, you don't care hot, about face? Hot. Uh, I'm, I, I like tattoos on chicks. I really do. Uh, but uh, definitely not dudes. Uh, but face tattoos, though, on the other hand, uh, get Yeah, me. I could see them putting it being a put off on a girl. Uh, I you, can see that. I mean, yeah, it's just like, where, where are you working at this particular point in time? Because uh, I don't think that you're going to get a, a like good job with them, but I could be wrong. I know a lot of people with face tattoos that have more money than you do. That's good, <laughs> and I'm totally, I'm, to, I'm totally fine. Dude, that's with a this. lot of money. That's a lot of money too, Mike by Tyson the way. And Post yeah. Malone. Yep. There's two right there. Well, yeah. But that's a, those are exceptions to the rule. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of my point. If you're in Wichita, Kansas, sorry, you're not probably Post Malone or Mike Tyson esque. Probably people. not. So but you don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe not. I'll go you get don't a face, fucking know. You don't face, know my face life. tattoo myself. Uh, but I don't know. I, I'm gonna go overrated. How about you uh, down there, Mike? Uh, to me, face tattoos remind me of. I was talking with my friend Austin one day. We were out and about somewhere, and there were girls in, like, little sundresses. And I was like, man, chicks in sundresses are hot. And my friend Austin goes, no, hot chicks in sundresses are hot. <laughs> and then we came to the conclusion that, like, hot chicks in anything are, are hot. going to be hot. Same and you're deal. like, man, chicks that cut leg holes in potato sacks and wear them as clothes are fucking hot. So I think the same thing about face tattoos. Like if I see a smoking hot chick, I'm not going to not think she's hot if she has a face tattoo. But if I see a fat, gross bitch with a tattoo on her face, it just makes me think grosser, you know? Yeah, I I changed my answer to exactly what you just said. Okay. I'm I'm good with that. I I like that answer. Hot chicks are, yeah. Hot chicks are hot all the time. Chicks with face tattoos are hot. Right. Uh, Okay, next one. Overrated or underrated? Excuse me. Breaking the world record of most candles extinguished by one fart. Overrated. Why? Yeah, I say overrated, too. Because I just feel bad for the guy who got second, second. place and <laughs> probably has, is scarred for life from a <laughs> terrible candle mishap. <laughs> How many candles do you think is it is? I mean, not a birthday cake. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't, I definitely, who wants a piece? <laughs> Not me, no. It's called French Vanilla Pink Eye. <laughs> <laughs> You'll love it. <laughs> nope. Oh, my but, God. Like, I originally imagined just, like, you know, like, tall, skinny candles for, like, a <laughs> candlelit dinner, but I think birthday cake is funnier. Oh, definitely. Happy birthday, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. Blow out your candles. <laughs> You want to see why I'm in a book? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's pretty good. Um, I I definitely also think this is overrated. That's one thing you don't go and brag to your friends, or you don't brag to a girl that you randomly meet that you have a thing for. Hey, I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records, because you know what question comes next, and that is, oh, really, what rec- record do you have? Well, I farted and blew out the most candles at one sitting so Mm. yeah that's uh yeah that's that's being the smartest dumb person is what that is okay next one overrated or underrated saying what you are really thinking all of the time very overrated very underrated (laughs) (laughs) i do that now do you really all the time you i have no filter bro i mean a little bit of one not really but there's that it's little it's really not there. <laughs> really? Okay. I mean, I mean, I trust you. No. And you tell me how it is every single time. Yeah, I, I don't. We go out hold at anything back during man. the break. You're like Scotty. You're just not funny. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, I know. No. It's not my job. That's no, your job. Okay. Uh, how about you there, Mike? <clears throat> uh, no. Don't don't <laughs> don't. don't do that. <laughs> don't be honest with me all the time. I don't want that. I'm really excited for your special to come out, Mike. Are you? Yeah. How come? Tell us all why. I actually, I really am. I kind of want to see how it went. I mean, I could. I have it oh, right, yeah. well, on my phone right now. But send, well, you don't want to. You don't want to release TikToks or just anything. Just put like it that. up there by the camera, and that's going to be and the rest we'll of the show. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That'll be the rest of the show. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm kind of excited for it too, but I'm also scared because it's a bunch of material that I've done for a long time, and now I won't get to do it anymore, and yep. I have to start over from scratch. New hour time, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
That's tough. I think my next <clears throat> thing is going to be a little more, I don't want to say political, but just a little more like social okay. commentary the, sort of stuff. The times. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. I'm just evolving yeah, I as get you. an artist. Congratulations. <clears throat> yeah, good for you, man. Thanks. Sounds smart. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with this is, uh, son of a bitch, I'm going to go with this is underrated uh, as well because I, I think if you got something on your mind, uh, for the most part, don't shut your mouth. Let it go because that's who you really are. Right, JP? Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Okay, man. I, mm. com- I concur. Okay. I'm, I just make, That's a fancy way for saying I agree. Oh, I know. It just makes me think of big <laughs> fat people again and like what a little kid would say. Like, look how fat she is, mommy. And the mom's like, shh. Like that sort of thing. I wouldn't want a 28-year-old to point at a lady and say that. That would make me feel bad for the lady. I wouldn't feel bad at all. I would. That's too bad. I'd be like, she knows she's fat. You don't have to call her fat. I don't think so. I think you should. Maybe so then, she doesn't. That's a funny. So one time. <laughs> so then she's like, I need to quit being fat. So people quit calling no. me fat. So I was driving around town with a buddy of mine. We were literally just driving around smoking and listening to music. And like just, you should. Just yeah. bullshitting. And we we were out north and we went down. A str- I, w- I went down my mom's street or yeah. whatever and she was sitting out on the porch and tyler go my my friend <laughs> who might be named tyler uh he <laughs> goes damn that is one fat bitch uh. and it was my mom <laughs> and i was like dude that's my mom and he goes <laughs> good one i go bro i will fucking turn the car around right now i was like i swear to you that's my mom and he goes, oh, fuck. He goes, I'm sorry, man. I said, that's cool. I said, uh, it's all right. I understand. I said, you didn't know. And yeah, that, so that was. Oh, no, he didn't just go, well, she is fat? No, he didn't say that because I oh. would have fucking thrown him out of my car. Because you oh, made him feel bad. I made see? him feel bad enough. Oh, so. man. Come on. Let him, let him have it. But yeah, that happened. Okay. That was crazy. Well, last and certainly not least, uh, overrated or underrated, receiving a teethy blowjob. At this point, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That just means inexperience. You're like, oh, he still has his teeth? Okay, great. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. That's better exactly. than what I've been getting. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I don't. I would just. <laughs> no. I feel like yeah. that's just somebody who wants education, you know? <laughs> yeah. She's somebody who wants to be told what to do. and <laughs> okay. So you're like, just, just lick it. Don't. <laughs> Don't try to, because whatever you're doing, <laughs> it's not it's working. Not working. Oh, God. I would almost prefer like a a lotioned hand job <laughs> oh, no. over like not a good blow job, but an average blow job. Oh. I'll take a, a lotioned hand job over an average blow job. You would rather have a lotioned handy than a teethy blow job teethy blowy oh absolutely for sure especially if the girl if it were like man this microphone <laughs> fucking smells like asshole i am not even kidding man i can't sit here anymore it's derek <laughs> does derek's breath get on the microphone i, I i've been sitting you look legit disgusted Dude, because I, I know what asshole smells like <laughs> and it's this I don't like to know. I only know what my asshole smells like sometimes. Uh, all right. I don't smell anything weird. You're just smelling the top of your lip. Hold on. Oh, oh there you never go. Never mind. That's no. Why, this like, microphone fucking it's reeks, like my dude. Mom I'm not the only one to say that. I know. Nose. You are the only one. No, this the, microphone fucking stinks like Derek. Only other person that sat there was Levi and, and you. It's so. Levi. Levi's then. too nice to say anything. Yeah, <laughs> You're true. like, Derek's mean, though. Fucking stinky <laughs> mouth, stinky motherfucker. Mouth, fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that, that it's, it's definitely overrated, but I'm going to go with... Guys, I'm not I'm not turning down a blowjob. I will suffer suffer through it. I mean, as long as we're not drawing blood here, okay? Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, you know that what I'm saying. That would not be cool. Yeah. That's happened to me. And uh, you know, and and, and <laughs> <laughs> really, <laughs> yeah, it tasted oh. like shit. Oh God, that's disgusting. <laughs> um, but <laughs> anyways, uh, no, I think uh, I think. It Mike's? tasted metallic. metallic. Oh yeah, God, no, I'm sure. You're like, are you Iron Man? <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus. I think you might be a little iron deficient. <laughs> oh, God, that's gross. All right. Uh, but no, I would much rather have a teethy blowjob over a, uh, a, a lotioned handy. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to say they're overrated. And that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to the new segment, which is that's where I draw the line. I really like this one. <clears throat> what we, even is this? This is new. Oh. You're going to enjoy this, You're going to love this, man. Okay. These are going to be certain situations where I'm going to give you the option of where you draw the line. Like, that's too much uh, kind of a thing. Really, really simple. <clears throat> simple. You'll figure it out. 17, depending on what state I'm in. <laughs> gotcha. Whoa. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. Not, not that. What, you just ask, and then I'll tell you. Gotcha. Uh, first one. What is the maximum number of cats a single person can have and not be a crazy cat person? You think three? Three. I think that's too many. Oh, really? Yeah. I got three, too. I think two. If you don't, especially if they don't, I don't have like dogs. Cats. I don't like cats either. But if you had like 12 dogs, I'd be like, that's fine. See, I'm the same way. Yeah. I totally <laughs> 12 understand. dogs is cool, but dogs more is than fine. two cats, that's just too I many don't, cats. I don't want a bunch. Of, I would rather have multiple cats in a girl's house that I'm dating than multiple dogs because they require so much less attention. Yeah, I don't like cats. I don't want to share the couch with a girl and her dogs. Oh. Cats yeah. are like women. They, uh, they are they're horrible. They hate it when I have sex <laughs> they're with horrible. them. <laughs> yeah, they hate it when I have yeah. sex with them. Yeah, no, I just, I think they have, uh, you know, they're moody little little shits. I say yeah. two. I, but I think three. Three is a good if is you, a good number. If you have three cats, there's one that you're never going to see anyway. Correct. Like, if you go to a person's house and you're like, oh, you have two cats, and they're like, oh, there's another one, but he doesn't come out. Exactly, and that's why you got the third one. Yeah, like so the, that, yeah. But if you have four... Then that's a weird. That's a that's, vibe. That's where I draw the line. That's that's the vibe. Yeah, I I, I draw. I the line. see what you did there, and I liked it. Yeah. I said it like the segment. That's uh, right. <laughs> okay, uh, next question. <laughs> He's really proud of himself when he did it too. You can see it in his eyes. Yeah. How many ten-year-olds do you think you could beat in a fight at the same time? Do they know they're fighting me? Oh yeah, big time. Do they have training of any kind? Didn't say that. Um, Those are things you kind of need to know. Are they the, are they the kids from Thor: Love and Thunder <laughs> yeah. that have been imbued with the power of Thor? Uh, no. Okay. Um, are they male or female? Equal? Yeah, sure. Equal division. You're putting way too much thought into no, this. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're trying to get it. What I thought the answer. last time I had to fight a hundred ten year old. Luckily, I <laughs> didn't. All right. All right. Whatever. They're I think ten. probably four or five. They're ten, four or five. God, you're a bitch. Yeah, I you would, think more than that? Yes. Oh, yeah, they're all like one punch. Dude, uh, these are fucking out. You know? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're coming at you, but I, I give you a lot Dude, more credit I than that. I think I could go round up five fucking 10 year olds that could kick your ass. I don't think so. I do. I kick too hard. How, what grade are you in when you're, t what is that, fifth grade, fourth grade? Yeah, that'd be it. You'd be in fourth or fifth grade. I mean, really, all it would take, you'd need two, you'd need two to rush you, two on each arm to and like then hold like your five arms to back. run behind you and just two or three around your legs to keep you from moving and now you're on the ground and then you just got two or three that are just pummeling like i'm you saying if they all if they all, if they coordinate right i think six or seven i, I give you way more credit than that well, I, mean, I don't i don't now that's granted, my fucking number man nobody asked but you, i I'm, you I asked me what my out, fucking number was i would yeah. take out three or four though before they got wrapped yeah, around that's my true. arms no, I, I give you yeah. both a lot more now granted i don't know how athletic mike is but i know you bowl <laughs> there's jb You'd be bowling That's kids true. out of the way. If I had a bowling ball, then we're talking like hundreds. <laughs> I know. If I could have a bowling ball. No, I, I like I just don't think you understand. Like, I'm not saying these kids are man childs. I'm just saying that they are just ten year old kids. Just normal string normal bean little Well then yeah, then probably twenty. I, there you go. I think that I, I think both of I mean all three of us. I think if you had fifteen to twenty that's 10 year olds fair. coming at you it's like you are going to be taking them out with one punch or one kick and i give you guys a lot more credit so I, i'm gonna go with me it's gonna it's gonna be to the point to where i get exhausted from punching before i'm in trouble so yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna go in the 20 area is what okay. i'm gonna say god that, that's have, one of those have a little bit more confidence in yourselves that's guys. one of those imagination exercises <laughs> that make me sad because i think like 
throughout history, there's been a, a king or like a leader or something that thought the exact thing and was like, bring all your 10 year olds <laughs> to the castle on Sunday. And they're like, oh, no. Yeah, that's Jeffrey Epstein is what you're talking about. Uh-huh. Uh, next one. Uh, what, where do you draw the line? At your current age, what is too old for a partner to be for a one-night stand? Uh, I'm 41, <sighs> so I'm going to say... I'm, can I see a picture of her first? No. Because no. there's some, like, 60-year-olds <coughs> that, that I'm yeah. like, damn, you're... Right. That's okay. But see, that's what I'm talking so about. that's like, where your line would where, be. Where's your line? But that but the line doesn't allow everyone... 59 and under okay so i just in general at 41 i would say my line is probably 49 50 okay i'm so scared of what you're getting ready to tell me dude <laughs> you're like i'd fuck an 80 year old I'm, i swear to god i wouldn't be the least bit surprised it's just i can just see it so it's like, i'll be 40 can, i'll be 46 in two weeks yeah i swear to god if, you, if it, and I, my I line walker into the bed my line is 30 Okay, so it's the exact opposite of what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If so, you don't want anybody close to your age. No, thank you. Have you seen gay dudes my age? Have you mm. seen you? Oh, I'm fucking sexy as shit. That's <laughs> that why. Right. That's why I can't settle. <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah. I can't settle. Thirty. Thirty for you. Yeah. Okay. I, that's how many ten-year-olds <laughs> you could beat in a fight, or <laughs> no? That's no. that's my. That's the oldest. Be, yeah. Beat off. And really? Then, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't get with somebody older than that, but they'd have to be. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, above eighteen, though, right? Above eighteen. Oh yeah. Okay. You yeah. just said un- twenty. You said under thirty. Twenty to thirty. Okay. There you go. I want to make sure that that's very. Well, clear. yeah. I mean, that would be my ideal <laughs> age for a female partner right. as well. That's basically I thought you what said, we're like, saying. The maximum. The, but the maximum yeah, age. The absolute max. Well, I don't think there is a max. Uh, yeah, I think there. I think there's exceptions to every rule, but thirty is my line. That's that's uh, yeah, you meet a good looking dude and he's thirty one. You're like so oh, so I mean, sorry. No. See that's the line you're drawing. But that's, see that's the no. thing. There is no There's, line. You gotta because... have the cutoff. You gotta have the cutoff. Yeah okay. Yeah because you're it, like a. It's you gotta don't... it's gotta mentally fuck you to where you're just like oh shit. They I don't, don't have the thing where you like to go after the older dad figure. No. Silver foxes, no. man. You're right. the dad in the situation. Yeah. So you take the young impressionable gays i don't know I do. and you're my, like let me teach you a thing or two mike, sonny boy or three mike who's a really good looking actor mm. how, okay george clooney okay okay i mean i'd fuck him do you yeah. know how much money he's got <laughs> yeah this is the question this is where this line people that's say that thing. but i've never gotten any money from any of the girls i fuck i know why uh, is that you're doing it wrong i guess <laughs> i know Oh, Jesus. I'm like, I would come over, but my gas tank's empty. Yeah. My Venmo is comedian Mike Baldwin. (laughs) Mike's going to call me. He's going to call me on Friday and be like, thanks for letting me do the podcast. I got like $30. (laughs) I can only hope. I know. I think think I'm 35 right now. I think my cutoff would probably be 50. Uh, plus 50 and i'm not saying there's some good looking 55 year olds out there like for instance the the owner of the soccer team in ted lasso oh yeah good yeah. looking chick oh yeah i you wouldn't fuck her i think that's my line i think you're wrong i think I, if I she asked you to fuck you'd fuck her i don't think that's so what i think you'd no. be like sorry you're over my line yeah, right she's over my line in height i found i found out i looked her up she's six foot five yeah, she's huge fuck that yeah, shit she's big i'm five foot seven that bitch is almost an entire foot taller than me i'm good yeah. wow yeah so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with 50 50s all right 50s in but i definitely would prefer in the like uh, mid 20s uh now we're going to the next one how big is too big for a woman's breasts? No. I agree with Mike. <laughs> what do you mean? The no. only I'm only concerned with her comfort. I'm not I wouldn't be angry at yeah. just big giant watermelon tits if she was yeah. like, "No, my back feels fine." <laughs> I don't need these things don't even bother me. I love them. But okay. the girls that I have known with big, huge, giant tits are like, God, it fucking sucks. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, <sighs> baby. That makes me not as excited about it when I'm like, bring them titties over here. <laughs> she's like, oh, these things that I hate yeah. that cause me pain. Yeah, I, I, I have an interesting answer for this. I, for I think. It, okay, so I think that if obviously if, it, if it's hurting her back and stuff like that, I completely understand reduction. That's totally up to them. But what I'm talking about mainly are the girls that go out and get 
plastic surgery to where they are abnormally huge. I love them. Do you yeah. really? Yeah. I like, mean, what, that one bitch that squishes, squishes watermelon with her titties. Uh, see, I don't want to talk about. I don't need any of that. Pop cans, yeah. no watermelons. Oh, really? Full size fucking watermelon. Bam. And those aren't even fake, I think. She, I, yeah, she did it fucking Gallagher style. Oh, that's right. Yeah, They I were fake. Exactly. They're I, fake. They, were, they are fake. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're right. I had a, I was with a girl one time and she was on top of me straddling me and had her shirt off and I had her boobs in my hand and I like picked them like pushed them up towards her chin and then I just let go of them <laughs> and the gravity of them falling made her go ow <laughs> and so that was a big turn off probably for both of us <laughs> I haven't seen her in a while <laughs> yeah I, I couldn't even tell you where she is now yeah. no but like the ones that are like ridiculously fake I, I think that's come on that's way too big but you know do it for yourself yeah uh, yeah, and but I'm not one to judge. It's the same with the age thing. Like, show me the person, and, okay, and I'll either be like, "That's gross," or "That's <laughs> awesome." <laughs> one of the two, no in between. That's <laughs> right. <clears throat> All right, fine. And uh, last one: What is the socially acceptable number of sex toys one person should own? I'm very interested to hear your <laughs> answers on this. <laughs> my my like dickheaded man answer is none because oh, okay because i it's the same as porn or whatever you know it like if you don't have those things then you seek out the real thing in real life more aggressively uh whereas if you do have those things you're like i'm just gonna stay at home i'm fine and i've had girlfriends that are like like not into sex unless they get to use their toy also and that makes me feel slightly inadequate oh yeah i'm 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 totally with you there i i i think um you know if she's got one i'd say it's okay but if she's got like four that's uh yeah that's a red flag um, it depends if it I, if it plugs into the wall or not. Oh yeah. Oh, then it's like, yeah. dude, there's nothing I can do for you. <clears throat> Minor pull start. That's gonna be <laughs> gas and oil, baby. I was gonna say gas and oil. That's yeah. funny, dude. Mm, gas and oil, that baby. Mister Fister. Uh, but no, I, I do. I think. <laughs> I, I mean, God, that'd be the most awkward thing in the world if you've got like one of those gapers that you walk in on, and she's I mean, you're like, holy shit, fuck that. Get out of that relationship. Did you say gaper? I did, <laughs> did say, say that. I said gaper. I know a couple of those. <laughs> well, yeah, you're uh, I don't ever click on those porn. <laughs> me either. JP's. If it says the word gape in it, I'm like, no, yeah, dude. Me neither, man. Me neither, man. <laughs> yeah. me neither. <laughs> JP, how Hold many? on, I got to delete some chat <laughs> no history. Oh, shit. Uh, is there a number? Yeah, is there? I don't think so. There's not. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, man. What about for a girl? Like how many? How many should be like a red flag of like a cutoff for a guy, for a dude? You hang out with dudes, you know, guys. Like if you knew, if you hung out with chicks and you're, she was talking about how many fake dicks she's got at home. Like, I would be like impressed, and I would want to see the collection. <laughs> so that one's signed. It's special edition. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's... I feel like they're collectible. Oh God, I don't. This used to have Sylvester Stallone's <laughs> autograph. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. It's, you can still kind of see it. It's, it's been so... rubbed away. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Yeah, I don't think there's a number. Oh, that's. So I mean, weird, I guess man. like let's go with fifty. <laughs> wow! I just, uh, You're like you have fifty-one dildos. You're you fucking, are a fucking gross. whore. <laughs> you whore. I, I like dudes are so much different than girls. It's, girls, there's a lot more different types of stuff they can get too, though. Yeah, well, but that's kind of for gay guys too. Same situation. No, definitely not. Oh no, mm -mm. no. Oh, okay. I didn't. I, don't I mean, it's all just. Stuff there's this one. <laughs> Oh, God. Where you put it, like, I guess you're supposed to put it in her vagina, but we gays, we put it in her asses. Uh -huh. And really? then you can control it with your cell phone. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Those are badass. Oh, those are fucking awesome. And what do you, do you like to be the guy who does the controlling or the guy with the thing in his ass? I'm both. You, I like to do both. Like, I'm. You control I, your own. Right. And surprise yeah. yourself. Hey, oh, 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 I am naughty to me. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I've seen the uh, uh, like male female versions of that where they're, they're like the going to dinner or whatever. And shit. Like, yeah, she's like, oh. 
She's picking t- up a can of fucking soup. No. Oh. Uh-huh. I yeah, keep on dude. trying to talk my wife into letting me do that, but she's like, absolutely fucking not. Because I want to go in like Walmart or some shit like that. Because it's With- socially tolerated in Walmart. And then she would control the thing in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can see like that. She's against I feel like that. the only fair way to do it is both of you have one. Yeah, because uh, be... then the other one can be like, "Fucking knock it off right now, or else, <laughs> or else, or yes. else." I'm going full fucking. <laughs> She's like ham on you. your ass. I got the button too, motherfucker. Yeah. Ah, uh, Jesus. Yeah. All right. Well, that is that's where I draw the line this week. Now we get to move on to the very fun part, which is uh, everybody's favorite, which is the questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any of these, send them to us. We would appreciate it. And if we like your question, uh, we'll give you a shout out on the show. Uh, but uh, first question this week is going to be odd ways for the weatherman to describe the weather. Moist. Moist, huh? Yeah, I think that's fucking weird. <laughs> you like, like that word? Just the word in general, but then for the weatherman to be like, it's going to be a moist morning out today. <laughs> uh, you might want to grab a jacket. Oh, yeah, moist, I would shit. think, would be. Mm. I think. Uh, it, I don't like that. Yeah. This is a. I think this would be a good way uh, to say the word thick. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Because when it's really hot and humid, it's I'm thick. just like, dude, it feels fucking <laughs> thick out there yeah okay that's a good way of de- that's a good one actually uh like a lot of people don't understand how humid it is here but that's uh, pretty descriptive and very accurate um the first thing that came to mind for me was like if they're talking about like tornadic weather like if somebody just like would just go it's just like holy shit more oklahoma is gonna get 9-11 like a motherfucker i think that would be a little bit uh, much yeah if you know what i'm yeah, saying i agree uh, next. Have, have, uh, side note: Have you seen the movie called uh, "Knock at the Cabin"? No. Do you know what I'm talking about? Not a clue. It's the new M Night Shyamalan movie. Oh yeah. It's it was watchable, and when you said 9/11, it reminded me of that. Oh, well, good. <laughs> There's not a 9/11 scene in it, but it, it just made me think of it. Okay. Oh, okay. But yeah, that would be crazy if the weatherman was just like, "If you believe in God, please ask him for his help right now. <laughs> right now, this does not look good. Put your head between your legs and kiss, kiss your, your ass, ass goodbye. goodbye. Oh, if you're in Moore, Oklahoma, right now, that's right. call your friends and family and tell them you love them one more time. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> <Stop. laughs> Oh, man. They are headed straight for the trailer park. Um, next question. Which Disney character do you think is secretly gay? <laughs> We're both ready with one. Uh, I think the the crab from Little Mermaid. <laughs> Sebastian. Sebastian. He's yeah. totally gay. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I can't do the voice or I would say. I'm not a C. Yeah, yeah. That's, all, that's all I got. I was going to go with the candle from fucking Beauty and the Beast. That guy's gay. Oh, oh Lemire? Of yeah. course, yeah. He's, he hooks up he with says the, he's just French, but... He hooks mm, up with the duster. I've had guys tell me that before. <laughs> he hooks up with the duster at the very end. I'm just telling you, man. That's no, a gay they candle. Just, they just went shopping together. Yeah. Okay. Him and you the hot never, duster. Yeah. All right. Did you see I'm, how hot the duster was, dude? Yeah. She's never hooking up with a candle. No. No, no way. I Okay. I, there's a list. I mean, we could do this shit for, oh, we could. forever. We could. There's one that's blatantly obvious, though. And that is Ursula from The Little Mermaid. You think she's a Oh, dyke? God. She mm. is a total. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. 100%. I agree. She probably is. Um, but I also. Th- I think all the villains are probably gay. All Gaston. Of them? Yeah. Oh, Gaston Gaston's is, only chasing uh, after Belle because he's like, I'm not gay, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll prove it. <laughs> I'm the manliest man in this fucking place. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, I, I think. Well, mm, I don't know if that works, but is I know the Beast is. Um, going after bell but i i think i think that beast may be trans mm. just just mm. throwing it out there i mean whenever he goes well, from the beast question to, isn't who do you think is trans i didn't say that but i think it's you know it's true don't conflate the two <laughs> yeah just because you're trans doesn't mean you're it's gay ma'am. there's lgb and then there's a then the totally T-Q-R-S-P separate category P-N-O-O yeah plus um, uh, let's see. I, I did have a couple of other ones in my head, but then I lost. Oh, I think uh, uh, Jasmine's dad in Aladdin is got to be. I was going to say the magic carpet. No, he's trying. Oh, yeah. Well, the genie. Yeah. Robin the Williams. Genie. Yeah. Genie. No. The genie's gay. I don't think so. Think what you want, man. Hey, some of us. Just- Come to think of it, he does do some crazy shit, dresses up like a woman. You're right, man. You're on this. It's like you got some radar or some it's shit. Weird. It's weird. 
Um, I've never dressed up like the genie, I can tell you that. Yeah, I'm sure you never did. You dress up like the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Get Rub in me, here. baby. All right. All right, that's fine. <laughs> uh, next question. Unusual ways to end a fairy tale. Uh, I feel like this is just a continuation of the last kind of sort question. Of. Yeah. <laughs> like, boy, that's unusual. <laughs> I did not expect this. Oh, boy. Like, unusual ways to end just any fairy tale? Yeah, any fairy tale. Well, okay, well, I think the dwarves would fucking do murder-suicide at the end. All Ooh. seven of them? All seven. Okay. Dopey just comes in and just fucking starts <laughs> capping bitches. Jesus and then Christ. at the end, he's just like, I can't take it anymore. Okay. That would be cool to have. That would be a weird way. To see, uh, I want AI to be able to, I want to type in, show me the the bank robbery scene from the uh, Batman, not Batman Begins, the Dark Knight. Dark Knight, yeah. But with uh, dwarves. dwarves instead. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty dope, right? Yeah, yeah, would be. And they all kill each other slowly, right. you know. Yeah. yeah, and then Dopey just is the Joker that gets away at right. the end. Yeah. He's the one. Uh, <laughs> Funny. I guess uh, mine would be uh, the Beast comes out as trans at the end. I think that'd be a little bit. Weird. Dude, he looked feminine as usual. Fuck. You really, really want the Beast to be trans? <laughs> I'm just saying. It's just he looked way too feminine for okay. that. Role. You just want the Beast to have the a, cartoon. a vagina. No, I mean yeah. that's what you're hoping for. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, if you saw the cartoon. The original cartoon. If, yeah. Oh, let's just Kinda. fucking say, for instance, the beast is trans. Would you fuck him? No. Okay. No, sure wouldn't. I okay. would. I would rather fuck a, <laughs> a biological female that says she's a male than vice versa. Because at least yeah. then it's like a There's vagina. There's no dick that gets know? in the way. Yeah, yeah. Right. Fair enough. Uh, next question. <laughs> Since you asked about <laughs> Disney characters and stuff, <laughs> I'll tell you what my genital preference is. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. What's something you would never want to hear from your GPS? Oh. Epstein Island is on your left <laughs> in four miles. Okay. Um, I think your wife should drive. Oh. Uh, that'd be mine. Like it. That's a bad idea. I, <laughs> I said mine, but you epstein all over it. No, I did. I'm sorry, man. Mine, oh. mine was just my, my GPS being high and forgetting. Yeah. <laughs> being like, my bad, bro. Yeah. I'm oh, you're supposed, supposed to, to turn, turn left turn. back there, bro. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That would be just awesome. Just go straight. The world's <laughs> round. We'll get there. Dude, I did an edible the other night. <laughs> Yeah. It's a it was a hundred milligram one. Oh, and the shit. last time I just ate like half and oh I was fucked oh, for hours. Nice. So this time I was like, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Yeah. And I did. And, and you were uh, fucked for double. And the I got really high. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean f it's probably the highest I've ever been, dude. Yeah. I went to Quick Trip and I fucking tried to get in the wrong car <laughs> for like five minutes. <laughs> And I kept hitting my fucking button, and the lights weren't going, and it wasn't unlocking, and I was fucking yanking on the handle. And it turns out that wasn't my car. This lady walks out. She's like, what are you doing trying to get my car? And I go, oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was my car. And I look over, and there's my car. And her car was not the same model. <laughs> and it was red, and my car is green. Uh. So... Yeah, dude. And that then sketchy as then, fuck. That is sketchy. Oh, my bad. I dude, thought it was mine. Then I tried to drive home from Quick Trip, which is literally a mile from my house, and ended up in a Walgreens parking lot somewhere <laughs> and couldn't find my house oh. from Quick Trip. And then like 15 minutes went by and I'm texting my friend like, dude, I'm so fucked up. And then I was like, oh, fuck, I got GPS, bro. Uh, and then I found my way home. Nice. GPS yeah, was, dude. Saves your life. 100 sometimes. milligrams is too much. Please don't eat 100 milligrams. <laughs> I agree. I've done the same thing. Dude, but I mean, not. I ooh. was smart enough to plan ahead and didn't go anywhere right. afterwards. But yeah. Oh, man, it was awesome. Yeah. All right. Last question. What is something a fortune teller would predict for you and prove that they are full of shit? So, like, they make an incorrect prediction? Yes. And they'd be like, uh, uh, your mother and father are going to tell you some interesting news this evening. And I'd be like, they're dead, motherfucker. <laughs> right. I, I think they would. she would just be like, you're going to meet a beautiful woman, and yeah. you're going to fall in love. Yeah. And we're like, I don't see that happening. Uh, <laughs> but you never know. I mean. We're, well, we're going to change you. I don't think so. That's why you're here, Conversion man. Conversion therapy. That, that's, that's why, why we invited yeah. you, and that's why you're in the middle, so you can't <laughs> easily get away. I hate being in the middle. 
<laughs> just in this situation, but this fucking microphone stinks like assholes. <laughs> we'll clean it after here. We should. Okay. Please. Uh, uh, anything that, that says, like, you're going to have a long and happy life with a whole bunch of friends, and uh, they'll all love you, and you'll make them laugh. I think that. And you're like, <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> have you met Derek? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's uh, that's mine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Uh, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Yeah! All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I won! Woo! Holy shit, it's a miracle. I never thought I'd see it. I had to get Jeremy Joseph off the show. I had to get a week where Derek wasn't there. Man. And two kind of weird guys. <laughs> I'm easy to beat. But I won. <laughs> I Woo. won last week, man. I feel good. No, still. you lost last week because I week won. Before, you won I mean, the week before. I won the week before. I feel fucking good about it. Still. I was I was very excited about how many people hate Justin Bieber, oh. and and I was surprised Fools. about the people that were like Elvis Presley. How could you say that? It's like God damn, it's not that good. But I was surprised I didn't get as much pushback on the Beatles. No, no. I have a lot of people feel that way. Wait, you won and you picked the Beatles. I picked the Beatles. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But I mean, it was it was like those. It was those were my top yeah. threes. Yeah. So I'll take it. I'll take the awesome. W. Woo-hoo. Congrats. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm excited for this week's draft. It's kind of a something very similar. Uh, this week's draft is going to be our favorite TV theme songs. So TV show theme songs. Nice. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Should be an easy one. This is going to show our age. All you youngins out there. You're going to be kind of shy. Yeah, they're going to have to look some of mine up, yeah, I think. they're going to have to look some of these up. So, anyways, uh, this week, uh, Mike uh, is going to get the sandwich picks because JP needs all the help that he can get. Uh, so, JP gets first pick. I get the championship picks. We're going to start this bad boy off. JP, what are the uh, what are your favorite TV show theme songs? You just won all five? No. Oh, just one? Just one. Cheers. Yeah, man. Where everybody knows your name. Boom, God boom, damn boom. it! That like that that is really mean that you took that one. That's from a me. good one, man. My dad used to sing That's, that song to I me. I love that fucking. It's fucked up. Yeah, it's great. And you knew it. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. I mean, I was gonna pick it anyway. You're an idiot. You're an asshole. That's why I wanted first pick, man. Such a douche. Yeah, All right, Mike. What is your first pick for your favorite TV show theme songs? Oh, I got to go The Office. God oh, damn it. That's one of mine. That's, oh. that's one of my favorite shows Son ever. of a bitch. It's so, like, I rarely skip iconic, it. You yeah. know, a yeah. lot of theme songs I, I will skip if it gives me the option. And that one I just, just it's short enough <laughs> that, yeah, I like it. Good deal. I really want to see your one. list because I want to let one kind of slide. But I don't want. I want it to come back. But you've already fucked me, so I don't. Uh, you should, if it's do. one you want, you should take it now. Ah, oh, Jesus! I'm gonna go with Friends. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that okay. one. All right, that I'm was. Glad I, I wasn't gonna say it next, but it was okay. on my list. I was. That's okay. one of those I was gonna kind of let maybe fucking slide, but then you fucked it off. Uh, uh, okay. All right, Friends. That's a good one, dude. All right, that's a real good one. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. All right. Yeah, there's another good one. God damn, that's oh, good man, shit. Those are two good ones. Man. Yeah. I can't. I'm so nervous because the one I want to come back is like one of my favorites of all time. So I don't okay. fuck it up. I can't support that one because I have to, I as a comedian, I have to take Chris Rock's side okay. in the <laughs> Fresh Prince, the fresh- Chris Rock battle. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't. I believe me. I want to watch Independence Day. Uh, I want to watch Men in Black, yeah. but I refuse. I, I'm boycotting him until he comes out and apologizes. I agree. I agree in a way that I trust. Okay, but I, but it's still a badass song. <laughs> is it my turn? Yeah. It is your your turn, Mike. Oh, Game of Thrones. God damn it! That's not the one that I was gonna. Oh, I was yeah. hoping, you know. But the song itself is good, and then there's also a version where it's metal. Well, probably that too. But I just like the one where the guy just does all of the tune of the song, but he just says Peter Dinklage, Dinklage over yeah. and over again. Yep, that's uh, yeah. 
Dinklage, um, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage. There's also another one as well, uh, wherever they do the entry intro video, where it was like if it were a 90s show. That's also pretty fucking awesome. Nice. JP, you get two in a row, dude. Uh, I'm going to go with the Brady Bunch. Okay, you can have that shit. That's a great one. Uh, That's a classic. It's yeah. a classic, but it sucks. And uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> okay, sweet. Nice. Oh. That's actually, that's not even their thing. That's it's, just, yeah. that's music that's music so that's old so that it's not old, copyrighted but, yep, anymore. Yep. I love that. <laughs> I do too. I love that show. I forget what Kay. that thing is actually called. All, All right. right. All right, Mike, come on, buddy. Don't, it, don't it's fuck me it. again. It's you. It's you. Get your pick. Uh, saved by the Bell. Okay. All right. Woo! It's all right because we're saved, saved by, by the bell. bell. Yeah, that's good. Oh, now, man. what do you get to pick that nobody's picked yeah. yet? What would you do if oh, I sing man, that's out a of good tune? One. The that's Wonder Years. Wonder, Wonder years. years. What a great fucking show, too. Oh, God. That, that is was. the best. Yeah, I wanted that's to good fuck one. Winnie so bad when oh, I was a kid. And I wanted to fuck Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so we could have made that happen. Poor man. old, what's the friend's name with the glasses? Yes. The nerd kid. The squints looking kid? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I wish I could think of his name right now. I can't now. think of it off the top my head now but yes that was ugh. winnie cooper nobody wants to fuck that kid no though. no um, i mean i'd fuck him god damn it okay i'm trying to think of like some new ones that i like and i'm getting nowhere so i'm gonna stay with my classics that i watched as uh, as a young man and i'm gonna go with family matters family matters is a good one yeah these are the songs yeah yeah of man. these shows yeah we get it What's Whatever the happened. There you go. Durability. The milkman, the, band, the paper, paper boy, evening TV. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mike. <laughs> Sorry, we were busting I'm out. Like, are you singing? Or? Everywhere you look. <laughs> I'm going to go with another musical one, one just because it uh, mm -hmm. invokes nostalgia. Mm -hmm. And okay. I'm going to say MASH. God damn it. Was that one of yours too? It was it was definitely it's one of my dun, it, dun, dun, yeah. dun, dun, Very iconic. Dun, dun, dun. Very, very honorable mention y. When it yeah. makes me think, like, oh, it's time for bed. Yeah. I'm up too late. If I'm <laughs> yeah. hearing the mash music. The mash music. That means Roseanne's over. <laughs> okay. JP, this is your last two. Uh, oh, man. This is tough. Is it? I'm going to go with weeds. Okay, you can have that shit. No, dude, that's a great fucking. What's you, that? Have you never seen that show? Yes, I have. Yeah, I, I, little boxes on the hill. Oh yeah, side. that's a Regina Spector. Ticky tack. Yeah, yeah. I like Regina yeah, Spector. Yeah, and uh, Family Ties. Okay, a lot of people probably have to look that one up, but it's great. <clears throat> All right, not uh, not my not my thing, but okay. Mike, oh, last pick, dude. God, I've. It's never your thing. You know what I mean? You're just a douchebag. <laughs> yeah, I fucking, douchebag. I tr man, I used to really like you before I started doing the show. And <laughs> oh. every week I just lose a little more fucking oh. patience and respect. I know why Derek acts like he acts. Wow. Man. Ouch. Okay. I, I think you're great. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it, buddy. No problem. <laughs> I'm going to have Mike on the show more often. <laughs> you're such a dick, JP. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. No I'm just bullshit. I, I like you. I just say, I, lo I love JP. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. I'm going to, in honor of my father, uh -oh. I'm going to say the Andy Griffith show. Very good. That's. <laughs> dun, 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 I can't dun, whistle dun, dun, good dun. enough. Yeah, that's good. The Andy Griffith show. And that, yeah, Starring Andy, Andy Griffith. Griffith. <laughs> and Don Knotts. I don't want to be the last one. <laughs> You don't want to say it. You're sh you're ashamed. You're no. Okay. I'll make it an honorable mention because it would be just like I I don't I don't know. I don't think I should. So I'm not going to. Um, instead, for my last pick, I think we're gonna we're gonna pick something that everybody knows, even if they've never fucking seen the show before. And it was Gilligan's Island. Okay. Yeah. But th that's your actual that's pick? That's my actual pick. Okay. I think you could have done better, but. I, I know, but but. Okay. I was thinking like Dukes of Hazzard. Dukes of Hazzard's <laughs> a good one, good man. one, right? Just some good old boys. boys. Yeah, exactly. So I was thinking Everybody that. knows it, yeah. I know, but I'm like. I know it word for word. I know, but it's all like. All the Jason Aldean fans would have voted <laughs> for you. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. Uh, but no, do you have any other like really good Scooby ones? Scooby-Doo. 
I can't that's do it. One. Yeah, that's a good one, but yeah. like, I, it's not. It's not like I'm that's not. My like, honorable mention, man. I'm not singing it when Full I'm house. Full House. Full House is a great one. Full House is good. Um, what was the What was the one with the roller coaster? That was uh, step by step. Step by step. Yes, that one. God, I'm, uh, God that's that's sad. Blossom. <laughs> that's yeah, Blossom was a Blossom good one. Blossom was a good one. I I like the simple ones too though, like Breaking Bad, where yeah. it's just like that one guitar or riff. The Simpsons is a great one for that. Oh, yeah, na, 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 na. that's a good one. Because I actually know it and don't watch. Or the X Files. X Files is a good one. Yeah, X Files is a good one. Never watched that show, but I know the minute it comes on. Son of a bitch. Okay, can I change? You always try to change shit, man. What would you? What would you take out and what would you put in? Gilligan's Island. I would take out. What would you put in? Oh God, Law and Order. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's one of my favorite parts of an office episode is <laughs> Michael's audition when he does the law and order. Oh yeah. Like, it's fucking amazing. Damn it. See, now Dude. I'm going to have to go back and start the office from uh, episode one. How again. many times do you think you've ever watched it all the way through? Probably five. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Just that. You really want to know what my number is? is and it I'm high? Not, oh dude, it's so high. Be, it's probably the same as my number for family guy. It's like 30. I've done family I've guy it. in I've a loop in a loop probably 30 times, but yeah. most family guy episodes, I just fall asleep to you. You know, yeah. like I don't, oh. I don't sit yeah. and watch and enjoy them anymore. But yeah. so there was actually a survey <laughs> whenever the office was actually on Netflix, right? More oh. people fucked to the office than any other music for a long that. time. Yeah. I went, when, when they the took, uh, when they took the office off of Netflix, I got Peacock mm. just f- so I could fucking keep watching the office over and over. I love that. Fucking I just show. ended up buying them. Yeah. That's what I, yeah. Cause I watch that every single night yeah. before I go to bed. Cause that's, that's cool. It's the best show, man. It's the best show. All right. Well, that is our list of our favorite, uh, TV show theme songs make sure you comment with your own yeah yeah definitely do if because vote for me and somebody that says dukes of hazard it drives me nuts whenever they're like uh whenever say oh man how come you didn't pick this it we did it's in our honorable mentions and that's not our favorites but you can you can leave your comment and all that other shit but vote there's probably at least one that if i if somebody reminded me of it right now i would be like oh fuck yeah same i should have picked that one that's a denver good one. the last dinosaur you know that one no are you too old for that i too young for that yeah i'm <laughs> what's the god damn you're old it was what's, a cartoon what's the right earliest the theme song you can remember earliest thing song that i can remember is happy days Ooh. Oh, yeah. Or uh, WKRP in Cincinnati. Right. My mom never watched that. I only watched things that my mom watched, yeah. you know? So I think, I, well, Law and Order has been going on forever. I can remember, like, the CSI Las Vegas. The little. theme song from Dallas. That's a pretty good one. I don't remember that you either. That you're only yeah. five years older than me, too. And it's <laughs> still, you're, I'm, yeah. you're like a generation ahead as far as TV and stuff. Yeah. Roseanne was a good theme Roseanne song. Roseanne was a great oh, one. Oh, yeah, that was. Just that that's saxophone yeah. or whatever. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah, uh, and then Full House. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or not Full House. Home That's Improvement. Home improvement. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Home improvement. That's funny to imagine the Full House people being. <laughs> the, yeah, sorry, I mixed those two. Up the Tim time. Allen. Yeah. Guy. But anyways, go to Facebook.com/slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote for the list that you like the best of your favorite TV show theme songs. And whoever wins, um, just gets, vote for gets nothing. Just vote for Mike or I because we can't let Scotty win two Come weeks on. in a row. I got some that would solid be. fucking picks. And you guys, they are it. solid, but it I think ours are better. This sales pitch now, though, only affects probably like ten percent of the votes. I think a lot of the votes are people that only see the list. It's true, and true. are like, "Oh no, fuck that show." <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Which is why I'm gonna win. Yeah. All right, but anyways, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week brought to you. By You're getting better, man. I thanks, man. I, I like it. it. Uh, brought to you by Battlecorn Care Packages Their masquerade is coming up. Uh, their gold tie masquerade is coming up. I believe it is August the 26th. I uh, want to give them a shout out as often as we possibly can. They have already reached their goal of twenty thousand dollars. Good for them. 
They've got a lot of time left to raise as much money as they possibly can for pediatric cancer that they would be giving them, uh, giving it to them. It's a great, great nonprofit and uh, battlecorncarepackages.com with Curtis and his family in honor of their daughter. So go and check them out at battlecorncarepackages.com. I would sincerely appreciate it. We get to move on to our shitty situation this week. <laughs> it's a toughie. It's a tough one. It is a very <laughs> tough one, but we're going to go with it. Ladies and gentlemen, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is Would You Rather Only Receive Blowjobs from Teethy... Oh, I'm sorry. Only Receive Teethy Blowjobs from Three Tooth Meth Heads or Only Have Sex with Furries? Mm. That is a tough one. Yeah. I'm not gonna, really. I'm going to let you go first. I'm fucking furries, dude. <laughs> You're fucking furries. You're fucking furries? I'll, I'll <clears throat> fuck a chick that's got one of those, like, foxtail butt plugs in. <laughs> yeah. That counts as furry, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, there uh, we go. It's part um, of the costume, like I think. Like, min- minor th- furriness, not like... Why? Why? Yeah. Because I don't want my dick cut up. <laughs> okay. Good enough. It's going to feel better. Good bad. enough. I think I'm with Mike on this. I think it's it's got to be the feel good. As, when yeah. you specify that there's only three teeth, I imagine <laughs> yeah. they're they're not all they're, together. They're pretty jagged too. Yeah, yeah be- because they're you, off doing their own thing. And, yeah. you got to specify because if you just say meth head, a lot of them don't have any teeth. Right. So, so you have to have one. Exactly. With we're talking. We're talking about the Tiger King guy yeah, right okay. here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's gonna get the, the some- Hunter Biden teeth. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going the furry all day long. Hell yeah. I, it's going to feel better, man. My dick's not going to get cut up. Dude, so. woof, woof, baby. I can't believe it. But what? We're going to be unanimous. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey. Uh, I also am going to have to go with the furry because I feel like a fucking three tooth meth head, there's a good chance they're going to sever something that's important. <laughs> Probably. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Plus, even if the blowjob is fine, I feel like they're more likely to steal from me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're going to steal the TV on their way out. I yeah. don't want that. I'm going to hang out with my, I'm going to snuggle with my furry baby. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. All right. Unanimous. My goodness. Unanimous decision. This is that, the first laughing on the sidelines unanimous it might, it's, shitty situation in a long time. It's happened before. It's but, definitely happened before. Yeah. Um, um, and, and but those were those were much easier, I believe, in the past. Um, this one was a little bit tougher. Yeah. I, I thought we were going to have some split decisions. I for sure thought JP was going to take meth head. Going toothy blowjob. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I was. For I've had sure. that before. It's uh, not great. It's yeah, no. not fun. No. I need like I yeah. Ah, uh, but. Yeah. Well, you know, awesome. s- surprises happen. That's that's what this show's all about. Um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but no, uh, thank you very much, Mike. I sincerely do appreciate you coming out and uh, being an excellent guest, as you always are. I don't even know when I call you a guest. No, I'm I'm co-host. I, I you mean, should call him a guest because I, otherwise, I think, I think we got. Otherwise, I work solid. here. Yeah, yeah I, I, think, I don't yeah. want that. Uh-uh. Yeah, I I think we got a pretty solid core of of, of dudes. Wouldn't you say, JP? I'd say so. I'd say so. I love it. It's about time we get some dudes. chicks on here. No. No, nah, they're just uh, not. No. Let's get a hot chick who likes her leg touch during the show. And yeah. then I'll just say, hey, if you want to touch, you can touch my leg, man. I don't want to. Okay. But if you, I mean, if you ever get the hand, I don't feel comfortable in my <laughs> sexuality enough to put my hand on your leg. JP will <laughs> shave him, I'm sure. No, I definitely would. <laughs> I'll do whatever it will takes. You, will you wax your whole body? I would. Will you look like powder for me? Yep, I would. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it took, man. I, I would do it. Oh, my God. That's gross. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much, Mike. I do appreciate it. Keep us posted whenever your special comes out there, bud. Make I sure will. You, you but do. for now, if you're in Wichita, yeah. uh, Vorshay's this week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all three shows are at 7 o'clock. Perfect. So come to that. Absolutely. Or if you're in Toledo, Ohio, then I'll be there the first week <clears throat> in September. But we'll talk about that later. Okay, for sure. Uh, JP, you got any shows coming up here anytime soon? Mm, um, yeah, this month sometime, but I don't know when or where. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, he's supposed to be getting back to me. That's and, fine. Uh, I, don't, I don't know when or where, you but think yeah, I, I got one coming up. Okay, do you think I could be on? Yeah, man. You, you want to do it? You think I could? I mean, you can <laughs> if you want to get booed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, please come out. Dude, I could write a tight 15, I think. <sighs> 15 my ass <laughs> there ain't no way. i give you three. i give you three minutes three? before you're up there just fucking 
crying, sweating and crying, and <laughs> never want to do it again. Yeah, there's a you. You would be surprised how long fifteen minutes is, bro. You'd be I surprised how long three minutes is. <laughs> right. Once you say two jokes and you're like, "Fuck!" I right. thought that and would, they don't land. I thought they yeah. laugh a lot. That's yeah. worse. Like I would almost Especially rather especially when get, you're new and you don't have anywhere to go after. Right. That's the worst. I would rather get booed, but booing hardly ever happens. What yeah. usually happens is nothing. Yeah, and that is <laughs> and worse. that's almost worse. It is. When you're I like, agree. "Hey guys, jokey joke. Here's the bunch." Line, and people they're are like, like they're just looking at you like uh, is there more <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah that shit gets real oh, that is I real know. you can hear a fucking oh, pin man. drop Ah, uh, well, shit. I guess my comedy career is very, very far away. But come and see these guys. Any of the comedians that we have on this show, um, we're happy to have every single one of them. They're excellent people outside of the show as well. So make sure if you see them in public, go up, give them a hug. Especially JP, give them a mouth hug. He loves Absolutely, that Absolutely, kind of man. Uh, but thank you guys very, ask, very much. Ask me first. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're if really okay hot. okay with Mike. Yeah, unless you're really unless hot. you got a sundress on. <laughs> I have one. Right. Uh, but guys, thank you very much for helping this show grow and continue to grow all of our videos on tiktok are now savable to where you can share them with your friends so go and take advantage of that until i change my fucking mind Uh, but guys if you do us a favor if you like us tell your friends and if you don't like us we hope you get beat up by a group of 10 year old (laughs) trans abled kids (laughs) oh yikes poor kids oh shit guys if you don't like us toothy blowjobs for everyone (laughs) tell your enemies and until next time guys keep laughing assholes we will see y'all later take care